How do cop drivers react when a gun is aimed at them? In GTA 3, it's not possible to aim guns at drivers, unless we use a sniper rifle. GTA 3 cops don't react at all, even with a rifle aimed at their face. Let's see what happens in Vice City. The sniper's reticle is right on the cop's face. But no reaction, just like in GTA 3. Uh -uh. Do cops ignore you in San Andreas too? Uh -uh. Still no reaction. But what about cop bikers? Cop bikers immediately get off the bike and start shooting. What about GTA 4? In GTA 4, cops immediately point their guns at Papa Nico. This idiot got stuck and started bumping the door. Eventually, his buddy approached Nico and arrested him. Let's see what happens in GTA 5. Cops immediately start shooting Big Frank. The entire precinct keeps shooting until he's wasted. What happens if Claude indirectly runs over a cop? If you run over a cop in GTA 3, you normally get a one-star wanted level. But what happens if there is another car between Claude and the cop? What's up? And lock him up Let's crib. wait for a cop to pass by. Then oh, run him over. Get away. Frank, maybe if you got rid of that old you, you clear Had to you wait got, for hours. We're better yet, maybe Tannis until a wild dog cop appeared. Stop swimming with that brain surgeon on how she's swimming with. No, you will Let's say, run him over. <laughs> if you indirectly take down a cop in GTA 3, you won't get a wanted level. Because it doesn't count as a kill. Moments later, another cop arrived to the premises, and randomly started punching a hobo. The hobo fought back bravely. But he stood no chance. Let's see what happens in Vice City. Just like GTA 3, if Tommy directly runs over a cop, he gets a one-star wanted level. But what if there was a car between Tommy and the cop? Wait for it. Once again, no wanted level. Does San Andreas have a different behavior? Still a one star wanted level. Asshole. Now let's add another car between Buster Carl and the cop. Again, no wanted level despite wasting a police officer. <laughs> Meanwhile, the homies were handing a beating to a dealer. What about GTA 4?
just like past GTAs, smashing a cop equals one star level, followed by an arrest. Will we get a wanted level if we run over the bike first? Insane reflexes. The test was inconclusive, so let's try again. The officer was alive, so let's try one last time. The officer wasn't so lucky this time. And just like previous GTAs we didn't get a wanted level. Let's see what happens in GTA 5. GTA 5 cops are much more aggressive. Running over a cop equals 2 star wanted level, even if the cop is still alive. If the cop doesn't survive, you get a 3 star wanted level. And cops start blasting right away. Now let's indirectly run over a cop. Step 1. Park a car next to the cop. Step 2. Destruction time. The time we didn't get a wanted level. Some cops investigated the accident but quickly left. Conclusion, you won't get a wanted level if you indirectly run over a cop in GTA games, maybe in GTA 6. Can cops keep up with Mute Boy in a foot chase? First, let's punch a cop. Now let's sprint and see if the cop will keep up. Cops can't sprint in GTA 3. The cop can't keep up and disappears due to the draw distance lol. What about by city cops? Again, let's sprint and see if the cop can keep up. Can't keep up. The cop disappeared even quicker than in GTA 3. Because Tony Spaghetti is much faster than Mute Boy. Can San Andreas cops catch up? Let's wait for that idiot to catch up. Now let's sprint and see if he can keep up. San Andreas cops also can't sprint. And eventually disappear like in 3 and Vice City. What about GTA 4 cops? Well, GTA 4 cops are useless in foot chases. They're so full of donuts they can vary jog. They absolutely can't keep up with Papa Nico. And finally, GTA 5. Can GTA 5 cops keep up with Big Frank? Let's sprint and find out. Holy shit. These guys are not messing around. More cops kept joining the chase. 
these bastards are ridiculously persistent. They eventually run out of patience and start shooting. GTA 5 props can definitely keep up in good places.